Drax. We talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah. Okay, um... We just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith. With the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly. But, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around. But I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I, I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Hey, Drax. We can talk about this. Great. Yo, Quill, you there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Answer, will ya? Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I know, it's it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? Point is, maybe it's a way to get out. If I could just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Are you inside of Drax? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? Because 
Because I Flarkin told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh no, can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait, are you happy can we chewed a hole through the wall or not? No, but also maybe. If it means we get out of this. Uh, so, guess who gets to fix the bulkheads when all this is done? Assuming we don't die first. I am Groot. Bet your bark, it's me. And if it weren't for me, the Milano would still be floating dead in space. Done. Meet me in the rec room. Who are Flarkin waiting for? We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratakin time you showed some Nords. Fine, I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. So! Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. If everything goes right, we'll be back in no time. And if it goes wrong, well, somebody's gotta extract your butt out of there. I know you're ready. I am Groot. I am Groot. Ugh. Groot says let's go get him. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. So, how about now? Ready now? Peter, it's gonna take more than 50 ticks to think of a plan. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, the stuff is gross! Uh, are you kidding me? Uh, wet fur is the worst! <laughs> you alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid! We're here to save Drax! Guys! This is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs, great! They aren't nuts, they're pacifist exiles. Pacifists, that's even worse. You saw them on Nowhere? So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh. Don't fall and you won't get wet. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find... <gasps> Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! 
just calm down! No! She called me here! To mend for what we lost! Can I get a little help here? Uh. Hi, guys! Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Mimi's fine. <clears throat> oh, my man. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is not unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take fruit. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he's... Sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. So it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you. Whoa. This place is really unstable. How's it cave gonna kill us all? Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. More 
water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Come on, Rocket. Blue water's not gonna hurt you. That's my drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate futures. <laughs> nice! Whatever you found in there, Quill, pretty sure it ain't worth getting drenched for. Sure, it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Hi, yeah! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets the mora. I doubt it. You are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. Right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. No, geniuses. This thing above me don't look too sturdy. Knock it loose and we got our bridge. Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. He drags a lot of heavy things around. And thrown rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. Throwing rocks. Whoa! Did not see that coming. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face? Who? Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? Okay, I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What were the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknarf? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team! When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the forkin' deal with this place? There has always been a great power. What the fork? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? New best friends? Chop, Gamora! Let's see the smoke of rocket! This is what we get for following the fog lady! At least there's none of that creepy fog!
heart. Something bad happens here, something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave. Oh, bug lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Are you the rock face we're looking for? You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then. I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, star guy. Me too. Lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay, setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills him. At least the crystals are kind of pretty. Eh, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course. Save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? We'll each need to face our fear. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know. Running is sometimes good, too. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry, your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them.
did seem to care about the Nova kid, didn't he? We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, <laughs> little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was going to do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Do you even have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes. But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. You gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Flarkin, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Just himself or all of us? Neither! 